Hi, I'm Bob with Branson. I'm going to demonstrate how to set up tooling for an application. I have an assembled stack here at 30 kilohertz with the horn on it that's basically been designed for the part I'm going to weld. Also the fixturing for this part. This is a 30 kilohertz uh, XC power supply with an XAEC actuator. This is an inch uh, leveling plate and this is the uh, fixture that was designed for the part from the horn that goes with it. So the first thing I'll do is insert the stack into the carriage and then secure it with the door. I'll use the uh, supplied uh, T-wrench that came with the uh, system. I'm going to tighten it loose at first. Once it's loose, then I can rotate it so I can get it in the orientation I want. Well, it's good, so now I'll go through and tighten it. Tighten diagonal ones first. Okay, good. so that's secure now. So this is the part I'm going to be welding. I'm going to put that into the fixture now. And I'm going to try and merely look at it, eyeball it, so I can get this kind of centered under the part first. Then I'll bring the uh, horn down to the part to make better adjustments. I'm going to bring my pressure to my actuator down to zero and then drop the pressure to the cylinder so I can have free motion of the horn. And I will uh, bring it down to touch the horn and then make adjustments to the uh, mixture until it's in place. Okay, looks good. Tighten the bolts to secure the uh, fixture to the leveling plate. Now, if you notice, the leveling plate here has a pivot in the center so that it can rotate around freely. This is going to help make sure that the part is, is in the fixture are level and parallel with the horn. So I need to bring the horn down to the part to put force on it so that I have the two in a good contact. And after that, I could secure the leveling feet around the plate and then secure the plate finally to the base so that there's no more motion with it. So I'm going to bring the pressure back up to a level. In this case, maybe I'll set 28 pounds. Bring the pressure back. OK, go to a horn down menu. Okay, now it's got it under a, a force of a couple hundred pounds, and it's basically forcing everything to be level. From this point now, I can, I can bring down the leveling feet to touch the base. I don't want to put too much uh, force on the leveling feet because I don't want to skew it. Okay, now I have the uh, leveling feet pulled in straight. Now I can tighten these other bolts around here with the 3 16 Allen wrench or the T handle that's applied. I'll tighten the diagonal ones first. Now, I should have it in the first iteration of being level with this. I'll do some test welds on it. Now, I'll look at the part and make adjustments to the leveling as needed.